Hi, my name is Ethan Norby. I'm a 2023 grad committed to ECU. I'm a pitcher outfielder. I play for the, the Dirtbags in the summer and I play for Eastern Side High School. And this is what's in my bag. All right, the first thing, definitely essential after, you know, watching my boy uh, B. Stu over there, uh, the Gatorade towel, just thrown over your head after a long inning, just to cool off, or even just wiping the sweat off after, you know, these hot days in North Carolina, uh, definitely a need. Uh, this is my EC bag. Uh, I got it from my brother, uh, hand me down, but it's super sick, Adidas. Let's go, my first cleats. We have uh, the Nike Hirachi 3s. Um, the white and gold colorway with the little black accents. Uh, these are, this is the first time I ever used Nike cleats and uh, I love them. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna use them during this like high school season because I'm gonna be playing, I'm doing both hitting and pitching. And uh, these are a little bit heavier. Um, I usually rock the uh, Adidas out of zero cleats. Um, I have them at the crib, but did not bring them today. After that, we have the turf shoes. These New Balances have, got me through everything every pitch like i think i've had them for three to four years now um they have not ripped not no new laces or anything um these are going to stick with me until the end until i go to ecu and get some uh, adidas ones but i love these things would not go anywhere without them next thing i have uh this velo belt you strap it around your hip and then you strap it around depending on which leg you use, you know, with your, with me being left-handed, I'd strap it around my left ankle to really help get me into my lower half. And then I also use it for hitting too, when I'm a right-handed hitter. I use it to stay in my low back, stay back on my back leg and um, really hit, get the hips through. It's a, it's a great tool, um, really explosive work. And I, I think I gained two miles an hour in season from just using this for like two weeks, just helping my mechanics a little bit. So, Shout out to uh, Velo Pro Sports for that. Next thing I got, I got my Beat Solos. These things are money when I'm working out. Um, the case kind of just strapped onto the bag. All black colorway, um, Bluetooth, noise canceling, all that stuff. Um, they're kind of they're my backups. I usually use the AirPods, uh, but. These things are awesome. They uh, kind of cancel out that noise pre-game. You know, we're trying to get locked in. Um, these things are perfect for that. Um, next up is my baby, my uh, Wilson 80,000 custom uh, with the tan, the white uh, uh, binding and the, uh, the blue laces. Uh, has my name and a cross on it. Uh, love this thing i would not trade it for the world sadly i'm gonna have to change to rawlings next year when i go to ecu but this thing is is gonna stay with me forever I have a custom 44 uh, again tan with the white binding blue laces uh, my name and number on it East bow on the side uh, great outfield glove it's 12 and 3 fourths uh, good for catching balls you know getting a great range on it uh, just got it this year and using that glove in the outfield just it's that extra inches is, is a lot and um, it's perfect for everyday use, uh, I love it.
Next thing, my foam roller. Uh, I've used a lot of foam rollers. I have a, a all foam one. I have a, a PV, I've used PVC pipe ones, and I just it's just everything feels wrong about both of them. But this is a mix of both with the hard plastic on the inside and the foam on the outside. And this thing is just money. It's a knee, just rolling out your muscles before you go and uh, do anything really um, awesome to use. My first bat is this Rawlings, uh, just custom professional bat. It's just like a VP bat that I use to, uh, for like, uh, if I'm having a bad day and I don't want to snap any of my good woods, I'll just use this. I am a PO, so snapping wood bats does happen, but uh, this thing is just kind of a VP bat. My next bat is, um, my brother gave me this, one of his buddies, he, uh, he's in the Phillies organization, Logan O'Hoppy, shout out to him for the wood, it's his custom bat, uh, my brother, you know, he just, he got into pro ball last year and needed a bat, so my brother's buddy, or his buddy sent him one, it's a 33 and a half, just kind of like my heavy wood, to really get my hands loose and uh, the swing, get feeling good, some Rucci. great bat. And the Gamer, uh, the Louisville Slugger, Christian Yelich model, uh, the Prime series. Uh, love this thing, it's it's a 32, probably should get a 33, but whatever. I mean, it's my last year hitting with the wood anyways. Uh, heavy pine tar, gotta go heavy pine tar, use no, no bat tape or anything. Um, this thing is just, has so much pop in it, I love it. Uh, just, the barrel is just, it just feels a lot bigger than it actually is. Um, and when you square it up, it, it goes a long way. Uh, I'll throw the stick in there, the, uh, the broom handle. Uh, really got into it in weightlifting. Uh, we would use PVC pvc pipes to uh get our shoulders loose before we lifted and um our coach kind of just brought this out one day and i kind of just stole it from from our uh closet over there and i just use it for uh, t-spine work shoulder mobility um kind of pitching uh pitching like uh, little practice stuff um great thing to have uh, we have the uh, Evo Shield sliding mitt. Uh, I, I did break my wrist when I was younger and it, it really hurt, obviously. And um, this thing is just a need for my right hand, just trying not to hurt it again. Uh, looks also is super swaggy, you know, just throwing it in the back pocket, um, wearing it on the bases, looks awesome. Uh, love this thing. Next thing is the uh, Elbow guard as a left-handed pitcher and a right-handed hitter. Your out left elbow is out in front when you're hitting, so you gotta protect that. And I just got the Evo Shield, the double strap um, for more protection. Uh, love this thing. Don't use it that much, but it's definitely a necessity. After that is the is the helmet, Easter Slides Baseball uh, logo on the front. Uh, just a Rawlings with the with the C flap. This thing's money. I don't. I this is my first time ever using a C flap. When I was a freshman and I haven't gone back since, had it since my freshman year, and uh, it's awesome. Now my babies, my Bruce Bolts. Just got these, just switched to Bruce Bolt. It's the, uh, you can kind of tell from the, the case, but it's uh, baby blue with the red accents. These things are, these are things are crazy. Uh, I love the, there's a double strap, so it's, um, super good wrist protection like uh, wrist tightness i guess um the padding there's lots of padding for the the palm and um the thumb for you know keeping the the stings away um i guess love these things uh, first time using bruce bolt and i love them next thing the pro hitter just um don't on your your top hand thumb just to put it in there 
and it kind of just puts the bat in your hands a little bit better and uh, you really want that bat control so that's why I use it and then also for fence uh, or helps the reduce sting when you get a bad barrel after that the bat weight uh, I'm kind of the, I'm not guy with the bat weight that you know every day they're like boy or norms where's the bat weight at I got you boys After that, we have just this little little case I got. Um, it's got my uh, my stem machine in there that I use for recovery. Got a couple extra leads in there. It's I don't know what uh, brand it is, but I just started using this. My mom got it for me, um, and I uh, I love it. My boys were using it, um, some stem machines this summer. Was kind of messing around with it and then messing around with it during the season. And um, I, w I would not go back to not using stem machines. So that, that's definitely a must for recovery and just getting ready for a game to loosen up my shoulder and my legs and stuff. Uh, I think that's it for this pocket. Oh, nope. I got my uh, backup batting gloves, uh, Franklin's, just kind of just some all black, just BP gloves that I use. My brother taught him and gave these to me and um, just kind of just something to have a backup pair. Uh, after that, oh, I got my uh, Sony speaker. Definitely a must when you just want to vibe out for a game uh, or when you're on training days. You know, you just come out here, it's all hot. You know, you just want to vibe out. So you got you got to have a speaker. Another big need, the massage gun. Uh, I've had this thing for about two to three years now. I will. I'm probably gonna have to get a new one soon. It's kind of running out of juice, but it's it's amazing. Uh, you just massage out your muscles before a game. I've just got a lot of stuff that will help. It's an Opo. I don't know what that is, but it's the brand. Um, after that, we have the, the Jaeger bands, J bands. I think every PO, maybe maybe every PO has them. Uh, they're just kind of, I, I think they're a necessity for POs, maybe not for, for Braxton, but um, you know, just the just hook them up on the fence before a game, just get the arms loose, shoulders loose, gaps, shoulders, traps, all that stuff, triceps, um, get loose that stuff before a game. And then I got my skills bands, just two different sets of them. I got the small one that I'll wrap around my legs. Uh, get the quads firing, get the glutes firing, get the, the quads, I mean the hamstrings firing before a game. And then also wrap them around my arms to uh, to get my shoulders, My I've been having some uh, rotator cuff problems and they help with that. So this is definitely a need nowadays. And then the other skills band, the, this one's much bigger. Uh, you use it to, I just use a shoulder mobility. Uh, you can use it for squats, you can do, use it for press, you can use it for bicep curls, you can do, use it for triceps, you can use it for just about anything, just to help get your muscles uh, getting loose before a game. That's definitely a big must. Um, then we have the, the wrap, that I call it, the arm wrap. Yeah. After you throw, or before, if your, your forearm or bicep's super tight, you throw this thing on, wrap it super hard, do some exercises, and it's probably the best feeling in the world when you take it off. Um, it's I really had some open problems last year, and this thing was, was money, just limiting the blood supply and then coming back, or taking it off, and then it would just put all that good blood in there, and it feels amazing. So this is definitely a need to... After that, we have a little crossball, just to roll out soft tissue parts like your chest, your shoulder, your quads, um, stuff like that. Then we got the baseballs. Uh, definitely, as a pitcher, you need uh, good uh, throwing balls for pregame. I got a 8-10-10 uh, MLB baseball and a perfect game ball just to mess around with different laces. High laces with the 8-10-10 and then the the high with the perfect game and the super low with the LLB balls just to get different uh, feels for your pitches. Uh, clean Fuego, this thing is money. Uh, it really helps me get pronate really good when I'm throwing it. Um, you really want to try to keep it from, from wobbling or, or cutting, but it, it does happen. And um, I just started using this last year 
and it's just trying to really pronate your ball and it's got my my movement on my uh, two seam fastball to move like crazy and I love it. Um, then it's the weighted balls. The, I got the drive, a couple drive line balls, these uh, different weights with the big Bertha and then uh, 450 gram, 1000 gram, and then just a, a regular yellow one that's super light just to really get your arm loose. I think weighted balls are a big must now. Uh, they became popular a couple years ago and I invested in some and haven't gone back to anything else. Uh, Another thing I got, just a tennis ball, just for quick hand work. Um, in the outfield, you don't need that much, but I like to keep my hands quick, so I have that. Uh, another thing to keep the hands quick, a skilled ball with the bounces, or with the bumps all over it, just throw it against the wall, and it gets different hops. You gotta really read it. Um, just for our outfield for high school isn't that great, so you really gotta get those hops down. And then just, uh, a skills um, forearm machine, just to really get the forearms pumping for a game. Money, change the weights and everything. Uh, on this side we got the uh, the Oakley's case, and inside we just got a couple, uh, got the little, little um, cloth, and then got some lens wipes. Uh, I do get my lenses a little dirty, so you gotta keep them washed. And these are the Sutros, got the, the white frames, with the, the white arms and the, the pink and blue lenses. I think they match with just about anything. Um, they're, they're super amazing, I love them. Got Sutro's last year, a uh, blue pair, and then I wanted to get another pair, so I got these, and I pretty much wear them every day. Even my boys for travel ball know I don't take these things off, and um, there's a reason why, because they're, they're absolutely amazing. On this side, we got a couple arm sleeves, just uh, different colors. Got white ones, um, this uh, blue with navy blue, and then an all navy blue one. Uh, I've kind of been wearing arm sleeves my whole life, just for looks, and then arms. You know, just if your arms hanging one day, you know, you just need to toss it on, just help the compress it a little bit. That's that's a need. Uh, got the pre wrap and the the white tape. Uh, I'm a big tape guy, so uh, I'll wrap my wrist before I practice, I'll wrap my wrist before games, all that stuff. Just to really, uh, I mean, the swag is obviously there and the, the wrist help that it provides. Now this might be the biggest must of them all, or the need of them all. The, the arm candy, the ibuprofen, whatever you want to call it, um, pop four in, four, four is the lucky number, five if we're feeling too bad. After games, before games, just if we're not feeling great, you know, just there's a reason why this bottle's almost empty and it's been like my third bottle of the summer. Uh, probably shouldn't take as much, but you know what? It is what it is. After that, you got the tiger stick, throwing a little plastic bag from keep, to keep it from drying out. Uh, pine tar, I'm a big pine tar guy. Got it wrapped up all the way around my bat, so um, tiger stick is definitely a must. Uh, icebreakers. I got a, some of my boys know I got a little collection at the house, got like uh, two stacks of them, just about like that high off the ground. Um, just pop one in, you know, they're super refreshing. Uh, get a good taste in your mouth. It's the strawberry flavor the best, definitely. Um, I, I think I have like, I, I might go like through a case of these a week and it's, I got a bad addiction, it's bad, but it's fine. Uh, after that, got some chapstick, just some basic chapstick, just the regular flavor. Uh, keep the lips moisturized in the hot summer. Got a Sharpie just for writing things down. Um, writing on your wrist tape and stuff like that. And I think the last thing is the uh, BioFreeze. I uh, don't use that much anymore, but I, I used to, and just to really help cool off your arm. And then you throw it, I usually throw it on before I, I put extra ice on there to really freeze it. And for really good recovery. And the bag I use, a Dean Marini bag. Shout out to Dirt Bags for hooking me up. They kind of they gave us a POs, the white and the black. Um, got my little tag on there, and they got our tag for becoming a semifinalist in the Woodwood Bat. And that's what's in my bag.